Hello, happy February, and I uh, hope you're having a good Wednesday. Today, I want to share with you seven stories or seven things that are going on that I think might be interesting for game developers. The first one is about 3D model generation. There's been a lot going on with AI and AI image generation, and Solus Vision has finally released their first alpha of a 3D model creation tool. This one allows you to create models by giving it words and commands. It's a lot different than what I was thinking initially, but I'm really curious to see how it's going to turn out. So if you're curious about 3D model generation, you can go sign up for their free closed alpha, try it out and see what you can make, and then drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're able to do with it and uh, what kind of other tools you're looking at and playing with. If there's other cool AI stuff, I'm curious to know and I'd like to share them here as well. Speaking of sharing, on to item number two. Lana Lux just released her Strain Kickstarter. This is a game that's a survival horror game that's not so focused on the shooting part that she's been live streaming development on Twitch. I recommend that you go check out her Twitch channel, see what that process is like, see what it's like to see a real developer building out a full game, and then go back it on Kickstarter. You know, support the game, try it out, and see if it's something that you'd be interested in, or at the very least, go kind of learn that process and watch the process. I think that the process alone is more than worth going and backing the Kickstarter, even if you're not going to play the game, but you'll probably play the game and have fun with it too. Let's go on to item number three. Code Monkey just released a 10 hour long beginner course for Unity developers. If you've been looking for something free, he's got a lot of great options on his channel, but this 10 hour course looks like it's a big hit. I haven't gone through the whole thing yet because I kind of already know how to use Unity, but in, in 10 hours is a lot for me. But if you're interested in learning Unity and trying to get started looking for something that's that's free and available, I would definitely go check that out and make sure that you're subscribed to his channel. Now, if you're looking for something that's not free, item number four is my new boot camp that I've just released. It opened up today and you can go register for it now. It's definitely not free, but it's a big intense course that'll run for the next four weeks. Well, four weeks starting in about two weeks. You've got a little bit of time to prepare where we're going to go through all of the fundamentals of Unity development up to the more intermediate to semi-advanced parts. We'll learn how to build a multiplayer game with data persistence, a bunch of levels, and all of the fun stuff. Be able to share that with each other, use source control and build automation, and just kind of learn the right way from the start. If that's interesting, you can check it out at the link below, and I'll see you there live next week. Now let's go on to some less exciting news. Number five, Microsoft's layoffs have have hit the Halo team and probably a lot of their game development teams. But I saw a couple posts about this and it seems like because of this, they're making a couple changes, including switching over to using Unreal. Now, personally, I think this is good news. I think that using your own custom engine nowadays is most of the time just kind of a hindrance and switching to Unreal or Unity is probably the way that a lot of game companies are going to go in the future. It makes it a lot easier to bring in developers to hire contractors like it sounds like they've been doing quite a bit there and have them be productive and able to be kind of up and running right from the start instead of having to learn all the weird intricacies and nuances of a specific engine. So I don't know what this is going to do to the actual Halo products, but I'm kind of curious to see how this changes things, if they become something totally different or if they're able to just quickly adapt. Now let's go on to number six. The Game Dev Guild Conference is coming up in May and we're still looking for a couple speakers. I've got a lot of great speakers lined up and a lot of topics that I think everybody's going to be very interested in. I'll make sure to link that down below as well. But if you're interested in speaking at Game Dev Guild and looking for people who are game developers who have something interesting to share that is actionable for other game developers. If you've got something that you did in the last project that really saved a ton of time, made things a lot easier, or made it so the game was able to ship. That's the kind of stuff that we want to see, see there. So that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for for speakers. You don't have to be an amazing speaker. You don't have to be super experienced, have done it before. Or you could just be trying out a talk for the first time. As long as the talk is actionable and people can kind of go away from that talk saying, hey, I think I can use this, or at least half the people can, then we're good to go. So if you want to submit a talk or you're just kind of curious about it, check out the link down below and it'll be very easy. Again, I'll make the process as simple and easy and painless as possible for you. So please 
if you got something cool to share, let us know. The final thing that I wanted to share, item number seven, was two new ebooks that came out from Unity. One of them isn't as new as the other, but I just found out about it. There's the UI ebook, which covers how to build cool UIs in Unity using the old UI system and the new UI toolkit. But there's also a game architecture one that Unity put out that I think is pretty interesting and covers a lot of useful topics for people who are looking for some reading on game architecture and game design patterns. So that's it for this week. If this was interesting to you, if you've got the desire to hear more news like this, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and share. And if you can think of anything that's worth talking about next week, then please drop a comment down below and I'll make sure to include it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and join us on Friday for the live show. All right. Thanks again. See you in the next video.